My favorite thing to do is eat cake. So when she was 17 months old, um, she woke up one morning and was quite lethargic and very just whiny and sleepy and which is not her personality, as you can tell. She came to us just having been diagnosed with a spinal cord stroke and was dependent on a wheelchair. So she had paraplegia, wasn't able to walk, stand, crawl, or do any typical uh, age-appropriate activities. I met Julia about a year and a half ago here in the waiting room at Kennedy Krieger. I rolled off of the elevator and I saw the cutest little blonde girl sitting in a wheelchair, happiest little thing ever, and I asked her if she wanted to read a book. <laughs> they immediately had an affinity. Um, every morning, Julia would come in and the first thing she would do before she would say hi to me is say hi to Kristen. It was just kind of a special bond for them. I think Julia um, thought it was pretty cool that there was some, you know, this beautiful young woman who was also in a wheelchair, you know, same as her. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just think that she thought it was like pretty, pretty cool to have Kristen around. When I saw Julia and when I started talking to her, I felt an instant connection. So we went from me being the big girl to her and her looking up to me as an older girl to literally being best friends. And I'm not afraid to say I'm a best friend with a four year old. Kristen's my big friend. You see sometimes when I, when I come to Kennedy Krieger. Her mom would teach her to cheer Kristen on as Kristen was walking around the gym. So every time Kristen passed Julia, Julia would say, go Kristen and be excited. Um, and that's just carried on since. For Julia to see her in such a positive light um, was great. She's motivated on her own now to participate in therapy, to get stronger so that she can run with her friends and play with her friends in the more normal way. When Julia came this past time, the very first thing she said to me was, Meredith, guess what? I'm gonna show you how I can walk. She gave me purpose, like in this mess. Like, I, when I met her, I didn't know how I was gonna go on. And seeing her, I think, it made me feel like, okay, this, this is why this has happened to me. So that I can be here for her and that I can show her how to keep going and that if I can keep going, she can keep going. And I just, I'll never be able to thank her enough for what she's done for me. The advice that I would give Julia as she grows up would be for her to constantly tell herself that she is enough and the fact that she is going through what she's going through and she is pushing herself to recover um, from her spinal cord injury that she is motivating and inspiring more people than she will ever know and that she is such a gift to everyone that she meets.